It's like Velcro though. Hey man, this is so man. Yo! It's like a scene from a movie, guys. Hopefully you can see it, but it's Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, we out of here. <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm finally going to the Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon here close to Mexico City and I thought I'd show you the process. First thing first, we're gonna be taking a hot air balloon. That's right, you probably see it on the thumbnail. I'm with an old friend and we're gonna be taking a hot air balloon but I wanted to show you how the process of how they set up the hot air balloon first. Oh man, we had to get here super early so if you're trying to do this, just know you're gonna wake up super early to come here, if you, especially if you're staying in Mexico City. Um, pretty much it was an hour away to get to here. We left at five o'clock, got here exactly at six. And yeah, I'm, I'm just show you the, the process on how these guys are gonna set up the hot air balloon so you guys can, uh, you know, appreciate the ride. If you like these type of videos, these setups, these inside look into certain things, what's up, man? Hit that like button. I am a traveler YouTuber. This is what I do, right, okay? And I do this in almost every country I visit to. So if you wanna see some other events, just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and join me, join me, <laughs> as we learn how these guys set up a hot air balloon, okay? Okay, so pretty much this is the, the actual balloon right here. And they're just tying everything up, all the strings. It's, a cra it's crazy how everything's gonna be set up. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, they're gonna blow air into it. All right. Let's see. This one's already up. So. stretching it out let's see is there anybody stretching it out okay yeah all right some people over here that are just moving ah okay helping the progression of the thing move all right oh and there's actually a hole right here oh wow okay I didn't realize there was a hole on the top. There you go. Let the professionals handle it, huh? <laughs> Yo, this balloon is huge. <laughs> I didn't realize how huge it was. And we were about to be in the air with it. That's crazy. Amazing. All right, so they're probably at the top. I'm gonna lift that up. So they start off with fan air and eventually they're gonna turn on the heat. I don't know when. Okay, oh, they're attaching it. Ah, got it. See, as they attach it, it widens, it widens up. Oh. Really do 
notice, man. <laughs> You're like, wow, I never see that. Wait, well, come on, you don't watch my channel. Subscribe. It's like Velcro, though. Um, it's. it's, it's yeah. All right, back up so you can see a little better. Wow. <laughs> ah, I feel like Indiana Jones, man. <laughs> uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Last Ark. Where's your ticket? <laughs> if y'all know what I'm talking about, <laughs> tell me you're a fan in the comments, man, of Indiana Jones. Oh, look, these guys are doing something over there, too. All right. Let me get back over here because I want to see if I can catch them actually turning on the, the fire. All right. All right. They're not done connecting all the strings. Let's see if we can get inside the balloon just a little bit. So this is a captain right here. He's one of the guys that are gonna be flying the, the plane. Como estas? Hola, muy buenos días. Jose. Uh -huh. Okay. Hoy es un buen día para viajar. Así es, está muy buen día, muy buen clima. Buen día y muy buen clima para hacerlo. Okay, so he says a good day, good climbing for us to go up in the air, guys. Just to give you an idea how this particularly works, look, right? Pretty much, these guys, really don't control these things to the full to full potential where they can like tell it where to go it all depends on the the climate and so you know the, everybody's here experience on how to do things so just in case if you're wondering oh my god what am i getting myself into today i love the water i'm terrified of the air but i love being high in the air <laughs> and so so far they haven't turned on the fire but as you can see this thing is slowly lifting up so I guess this is just how they gonna get this thing up and, until it gets to a particular angle and then turn the fire on and it'll top off see you on Pogo okay guys we're gonna go inside oh wow okay <laughs> Yo, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, man, this is dope, man. Yo, it's amazing to be in here. It's, it's awesome, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. All right. <laughs> the captain is putting his hands out because it is raining just a little bit, all right? So that's something that they have to be wary about because when the rain happens, the balloon becomes a lot heavier. So this is um, something that they gotta deal with, all right? Guys, check out who's here. Oh my God. Voy a manjar esta cosa deliciosa. ¿Capito lo que está ahí parlando? Mucho cayete. You're like, stop. I can't keep going. All right. She actually lives around the town, so I made sure I called her up so we can hang out. You can uh, see my old friend again, and we can take a ride. So let's do it. Hey, I'm see other companies are already getting their balloons up in the air I'm gonna go ahead and give you a drone shot of this how it's set up <laughs> I like walking between these uh, balloons right here <laughs> multitasking got the drone in the air and uh, I just want to show you what the guys are doing right now <laughs> as you can see everything's up so My drone is coming down, and I'm get, we're getting ready to leave. All right, let's go. All right, guys, let's get on here.
Thank you. We gotta Okay. We gotta get closer to get the word. Alright guys, we're going up. Yo, we out of here. Are we lifting up or not yet? All right, maybe we're too heavy. Pesa mucho? Alright guys, I feel like this thing is moving just a little bit. What happened? You scared? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh Lord, well, here we go. That's <laughs> yeah, scared. Okay. The sound. You can feel the heat on your face. It's quite, quite pleasant because of the weather right now. It's kind of chilly and it feels really good, the heat. All right, you guys. They have all these setups here to get the heat you guys. Woo, it's hot. My hair, it feels like I'm in a dryer. Oh. Air dryer. Immediately uh regretting this already. Putting in word like I'm way behind. Still trapping on the lolo, lurking in the mole like I'm running from the pole. Remember when we did it for life. Oh my gosh. I'm a I'm already regretting this. Oh my gosh. I'm regretting oh. When I was young, I used to dream about the palm trees. After the summer achievements, I got a long sleeve. Supposedly, think about it. In reality, you're running out of options. Starting to see the coffin with the Bible preach. I'm way ahead on the You see all the different companies. As soon as you lift up, you can see the actual pyramids of the, the sun and moon here. Well, that's, I, I don't know which one is which, but one of the pyramids. Oh, actually, both. Totally worth the trip already, guys. I wonder how heavy, like, strong are these platforms. I come and go like a rah, rah, rah. I didn't realize how close the pyramids were. They're like so close. At least from the air, you can see them. It's it's crazy. I feel like. ¿Qué pasó? Yo no había visto para abajo. ¿Qué piense? Que no. No te gusta. No pensé que iba a ser un poco más fuerte o más. Es más suavecito, mucho más suavecito. Uh, you like? You like, whatever. <laughs> his equipment, look, he has like some form of navigational tool on his cell phone. And uh, look, he has all these tanks of gas. All right, guys, so we are starting a descent so we can get real close to the pyramids. And so that way you can see it close up. Super dope. This guy is a cool pilot. Yeah, and they be thinking about my home runs. Oh, how they gonna catch me when I'm all around. Oh, I can't see why I didn't call it. Mira, ya jugaban gallo. Los los Y allá eran las corridas de puerco. Ponían los Oh my god. There it is, guys. The pyramids. Es el luna. El sol. Este sol es el all right, so this is the sun, the pyramid of the sun, guys. Wow, piece of history. Hey, you got it, baby. Yeah. yeah. The history right behind us, man. <laughs> what what y'all doing? You don't got a passport yet? No. Look how low that one is. They literally are gonna bump into the dang pyramids. <laughs> Say, man, with an extra tour, this one costs, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get right on it. You know what I mean? They know a plan right here. <laughs> this is super dope. Oh, pretty much worth it, guys. Worth it coming out here. 
Going to Mexico City, please come out here. I learned about this place from Passport Stamp. He's a YouTuber on this platform. Check him out, I'm gonna leave his video in the description. I was watching his video and I was like, dang, I gotta do that and bring you guys with me. So check him out and show him some love, all right? Yeah, man, look at this. This is majestic, man, look. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, this is the pyramid of the moon right here. And I can guarantee you, everything is placed mathematically aligned based off of the stars. I can guarantee you. So we're gonna actually try to go to this, uh, get as close as possible to this uh, pyramids after this tour is done. We really getting right in the mix, guys. Look how close we are. Wow. This guy is a genius pilot. Look at this. He brings us right in front of the pyramids. This is so beautiful, man. Could you imagine what type of ceremonies they used to have here? And this area used to be nothing but a, a village here. Uh, in, well, I, I wouldn't even call it a village. It's like a, a city, an Indian city, an Aztec city. And pretty much, there are people living all over this particular area right here. Makes you wonder why, why they stopped. <laughs> it's always us that messes it up. Human interaction that messes things up like this. Human involvement. All right guys, we're beginning our descent down, back into the town area. And uh, let's see what this guy got, man. I don't know, man. He got some skills, man. He got the skills to pay the bills. We're gonna get us home. We're gonna land on that trampoline over there, right there. Sí, ahí era donde jugábamos mis hermanas y yo. Y cuando mi mamá nos castigaba, nos mandaba a limpiar todo. Oh yeah. A podarla. Lo que más me gusta es que voy aquí calentica. Oh, oh my god, Mirenlo. Oh my god. It's like a scene from a movie, guys. Hopefully you can see it, but it's Oh my gosh, look at this. The horizon, the sun rising, the balloons in the air, the clouds, the mountains in the background. Can't make this up. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. You gotta talk fast. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright guys, so we're gonna be going down and then, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna get some breakfast. Well, I don't know where we going, but this is beautiful to go around the town area. I wonder how it is to live in this neighborhood though. Do they mind us just being over their houses every day? Esa propiedad, mira, se ve super lujosa. Este? Esa propiedad se ve muy muy lujosa. Las demás se ven como muy humildes y esa en específico se ve como muy lujosa y tiene piscina. Mira, allí. Ah, wow. autobús a la izquierda. Okay. Wow. Wow, bonita. She's talking about the one behind the trees. You can see a pool in there. Nice. They really blocked the area because of the balloon. So you can't really see what's inside, but they have a pool there that they put in the trees to block the whole area down. Vamos a Miami! Queda para allá, no creo. No puedo a Miami! <laughs> Beautiful town, guys, and I think they have hotels here for people who want to be here for a couple more days. Um, they have four wheeling here available. There's all these different activities that you can do in this town. If you are coming to Mexico City and you got time, most definitely. Yeah, that's the where are you guys from, by the way? Ecuador. Ah! 
Yeah. All right, cool. What part of Ecuador? I went to Guayaquil, Quito. 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 Okay, yeah, you're passing allá. Este pueblo es un pueblo un poco humilde que se fomenta por el turismo. Algunas personas adineradas vienen para acá y compran propiedades como estas y las agarra para vacacionar, fines de semana, días feriados y las demás gente ya vive del turismo y son trabajadores comunes, por eso ve unas zonas muy humildes y otras zonas un poco acomodadas. Like that one right there is really nice and pedicured and then you got stuff that's not really taken care of. Oh baby, only oregano. Oh, only oregano? Oregano. I think, I think we found a weed spot guys. I think they're selling weed right here. They no. think they're farming weed right here guys. Check it out. <laughs> no cannabis, only oregano. Oh, right oh nah, I think it's a weed spot right here. Oh my god. <laughs> I can smell it from here. Mentira! No! <laughs> A ver, ¿dónde? Pareces un coyote, no pareces. You can see some chicken right there, guys. Wow, they running up and down, freaking out, because things are, they know things are on top of us. Mira la otra allá, el negrito, qué precioso. Vamos a llevarlo. Ah, ya no los hay que hacer. Okay. Ah, es un bebé. Oh. Ese es el famoso tren que se llama La Bestia que pasa por Guadalajara y pasa por Monterrey y es conocido porque muchos inmigrantes de Países Bajos como Salvador y Honduras se montan allí para pasar la frontera con Estados Unidos. Allá va. Esa es, esa es la bestia. Allá va. ¿Cuál fue? La bestia. pasa en Estados Unidos también? Sí, porque es un tren internacional. Ah. Oh. So people, what basically she was telling me is this train is famous because it goes throughout Mexico and enters the United States. And I think some other parts of Central American America and a lot of people from immigrants will use the train as a way to enter the states. So it's like they have to really check that train every time. There might be some immigrants trying to enter into the states right now. We are literally... We're gonna hit this tree. Uh, what's about to happen? <laughs> okay, yo no quiero agarrar ninguna rama. Va drop. Este es un freno. <laughs> All right. So these guys are gonna anchor us down. Okay. Touch it now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we back up in here. <laughs> it's like it's gonna bounce up and down, I guess, huh? <laughs> There you go, slide it up in there. Así, arriba, arriba. <laughs> He's pulling the string here and it's actually letting go of all the air slowly. Look, look inside. It's closing in. Wow, look at that guys. Uh-huh. Everything has its size. Wow, look at this. Those guys are pulling it in that direction and there it is. Guys, just like that. Look how these guys are doing it. Just folding it all up, tying it down. Okay. All right. All right. Yo, we out here, baby. I ain't really doing nothing, but it looked like I'm doing something, though. Okay. I am probably doing something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. These guys do a, a well professional job. They got it down to a science. The most efficient way to fold all this up. Dope. Dope. Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, so now we're on the bus heading back to get some breakfast, but you get to see the sights of the town. So that's super dope. So it's like four different towns here, guys, um, that you're gonna be driving to if you take this tour. This is their cathedral in the town. Very beautiful, wow. No siempre en el mismo lugar cuando bajas. No, no siempre. Siempre es diferente el terreno donde aterrizamos. ¿Sí? Y como, pues eso es lo bueno de volar un globo, porque son vuelos siempre diferentes y nunca te aburres de volar. ¿Y cómo sabía? La gente sabía dónde tú vas a bajar. Eh, voy a, hablando por radio, les doy una zona de aterrizaje y ya al final ya es. Uh, the terreno is All right. So they basically just coordinate through radio and he can pretty much tell how the, the air balloon is going to uh, descend and then they uh, decide on what area it, it looks good where they're going to land. So that's how they figure it out. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go upstairs guys and then I guess they're going to do a little ceremony for us and then we'll have some breakfast and then if we want uh, we opted in to actually go look at the pyramids a little bit closer, so that's an always an option for you. Alright. Bienvenido, ya estamos aquí listos. Bienvenido Operadora Venturi. Esperamos que disfrute de este servicio y que la gente nos venga a visitar. They got a little champagne for us. Nice. Super dope. Hey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're reading the, the certificate. <laughs> All right. Salud. 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 <laughs> Can I fly the uh, the hot air balloon now? Sí, ya, ya Yo puedo manejarlo. Ya, ya estás listo. Primero el abuelo ya estás listo para volar. Adelante. No. Siempre habla trabajo para ti acá. Perro que allá, pero con pelo. Check it out. Hey. It was 70, 72 when was the altar? Let me ask you a question. What yes. happened to...